I heard from a very reliable source that uh, you know Conor I talked McGregor, to I talked to Polly. I want to hear. Keep it. I want to hear. Yeah, I going. heard that Conor McGregor gave Polly Mal- Malinaji, legit world champion, uh, uh, fits for twelve rounds. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to say an ass whooping because I don't want to be disrespectful, but fits gave him some problems, big problems. What is your take on that? And uh, that was from somebody who was there, and you know who it is. So what yeah. do you think? Um, I, I so I've spoken to Polly. I've spoken to people that were there. Um, I, I obviously listen, man. I, I love Connor. I love Polly. I like both yeah. of them. I stay yeah. in the middle here. I ride that middle dick lane. Um, you know the reports of did Polly get his ass whooped? Is, that's not true. It's not true. Um, I know there was there was some tough rounds. Mm-hmm. I know that there was some tough rounds. And as the rounds went on, uh, from what I heard, you know, Polly w- was doing some stuff. They both landed really good shots. Um, can I ask, can I interject one thing? Well, let's let's have a caveat. I don't think Paul Paul has boxed for many years and probably wasn't in boxing shape. Is yeah, he was true? in boxing shape to go twelve rounds, right? And also, but, he hasn't boxed in how long? I yeah, mean, yeah. I mean, a, a months, you know, a while. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, he retired a I while it was years. ago. Yeah, but yeah, but back in the gym, yeah. So that's fair to say. But still, okay. world champion. Yeah. Um, you know the the facts that the reports that Connor beat his ass. I don't know if that's true. Um, Connor bigger than him. A lot bigger. Yeah, taller, you know, quicker than shape, but the same thing, you know, that that stuff with the whole Polly stuff, and I said this to Polly. The thing with Polly and Connor is Polly, he's like us. He's like us, he's a sensitive guy. And Polly goes, Yeah, I talked all that shit, you know, six months ago and you know, I thought we'd spar and be all good, just like, you know, the way we fighters do, like you spar sure. and you get you mix it out and I'm here to help him. Yeah. And his thing is, um, and I told Polly, I said, but dude, when when he brought you in, you know, if you go back and listen to the reports Especially on Showtime, they go, "Oh, why are you bring Polly?" And he goes, "To fuck him up, dead space." And he wasn't like, "Ah, just joking." Connor goes, "To fuck him up, jeez." Because six months ago or seven months ago, when Polly goes, "I could be in one hand behind my back," man, one of the reason what makes Connor such an elite winner and yeah. uh, elite he athlete takes that shit personally. Yep, if you're yeah. gonna challenge him, so they go, "Why are you bring Polly in?" It wasn't to figure Floyd out; it was to fuck him up. Wow. So you know, I think they thought two different; they had two different agendas. Mm. And from uh, yeah, so Paul, and, and from you're Con- me in, and from Con- yeah, you bring me in, but I'm so here to, to help. With you. It's all good, yeah. You know, and so you know, here Connor's train partner goes. You know, Paulie, uh, you know, left because he had to work for Showtime. Came back, and you know, he he talked shit saying Connor didn't have power and stuff like that. So he's just adding fuel to the fire. I don't know what he expected. Yeah. And then even after that picture got posted, and from my sources, mm-hmm. which are super close to Connor, my sources, sure. Connor's team didn't leak that. A, a second source leaked oh, that. Oh, I, he I didn't believe that. Connor didn't leak his I team. They'll, they'll post pictures of Spar and stuff like yeah. that. They didn't leak that one. Someone else did, and then it got picked up. And then Connor's his team was just like, ah, fuck it, it's out there. What are you going to sure. do? But Paulie saw Connor after in the locker room and didn't say anything. And then I guess when they headed back, got dropped off the hotel and then just bounced. So then people go, oh, Paulie didn't get paid. And listen, I'll, I'll probably talk to Paulie Mayhem on my show, The Big Round Break, or something like that. Um, it'd be even fun to have him on here and just have him talk about it. Um, you know, he left, and as far as him not getting paid, I don't think Polly cares. Polly's financially fine, but remember too, if you had a job and you're supposed to work six weeks and you work two days, day, yeah. you're not going to get paid. Sure. So Connor never fired him; he left. Again, I'm I'm in the middle on this. Yeah, I love Polly. I love Connor. Yeah. They they're both just so different. They both had different agendas. Mm-hmm. It's a bit of a shit show. It's not fake. It's not scripted. Well, I don't think what Dana and uh, the UFC is saying how Paul just got picked apart's true. I know Connor did well. I know yeah. that for a fact. Connor did well, and it's in, in well because he's a really good boxer. I think you could also say that. At least here's what I'll say: we all we all talk about how good Nate Diaz is a boxer for the UFC. Nate trains as a boxer. He trained at uh, Andre Ward's camp for a long time. Trains a lot of camps, and he gets in there with real boxers and bangs it out. And has been doing it for years. I think from my from where I was sitting, it looks like Conor McGregor is actually a better boxer than Nate Diaz. Different. That's, that's the problem. Is like different if, or better? It, different. What They're do you different. mean? Different. You can't because what Conor does. The the only reason why Conor has a chance in this fight is because he's so untraditional. Floyd's never seen it, so mm-hmm. it's going to take Floyd a while to download his movement yep. and and the way he hits, so Andre from Ward said, yeah. and stuff like that. And Nate Diaz, they've seen that style since they were little. They do as a traditional boxer, very uh, good at it, yes. brilliant at it. But any boxer seeing that they're gonna eat them alive, okay, at a high level. Same way when yep. people go, oh, Anthony Joshua Stipe, Stipe is a traditional boxer. Anthony 
uh, Joshua was a golden, you know, gold he's medal winner. He's been through that. But he's seen that style he one thousand times. He knows that language, times. knows what's you coming. Know what language you don't see? That notorious movement, that that Conor McGregor awkward movement, switching mm-hmm. southpaw, traditional. Mm-hmm. He's even more awkward. And Paulie, no, he switched. Paulie, you think? He will. I know for a fact. So Paulie's oh, coming all this stuff, and I'm like, damn, that's terrible, bro. We land some good shots. He's like, hey, you're missing the point. I'm like, no, that does. But like, was it like, you know? I'm like, I'm trying to, you know, because you want to know if he landed some good shots. I, I, I need to know, you know. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm riding or dying on this Conor. So, so, so did you get from Paulie? Did, Paulie says he's tough. He does. He does say, a lot of stuff tough. You know, but that's that's why again, that's why that's you love Paulie. Pa, you know, Paulie's not. He'll tell. You know, Paulie doesn't need more fame. Paulie doesn't need that stuff. Paulie's just like, man, this is what it is. You know, I think Paulie's feelings are hurt. I think Connor's here. You know, the the, the show moves on. Sure. And you know, it's it's good insight for uh, Paulie to have on, on the Showtime broadcast stuff like that. I'm sure it's a fun journey. Um, but you know, I, I think he got a pissed off Connor because he said things about him earlier.